In this video, we are going to learn how to use the Reliquong equation of state in order to solve thermodynamic problems. But before we do so, we have to know what the formula for Reliquong is. So here it is. Um, P stands for the pressure. The V is not volume. It's again molar volume, just like the Van der Waals equation of state. Um, we have two variables here that um, we have formulas for as well. Um, A prime and B prime. Those are the equations down there. And in order to get A prime and B prime, we will also need critical volume. And the critical volume equation is right there in green. In order to solve for the critical volume as well as A prime and B prime, we're going to need your critical pressure, critical Z, and critical temperature. All of those are um, unique and tabulated numbers that are unique to the substance that you're using at the time. So, for example, in my textbook, I can find TC, PC, or ZC in table 2.1.2, and depending on which substance I have, I can just look it up. If I want chlorine, it tells me here that my critical temperature is 417 and my critical pressure is 77.01 and then my critical Z value is 0.265. So it really depends on the value or the substance you're using in that problem. But usually, um, if you don't even, if, even if you don't have your tables, you can look these values up on the internet like what's the pc or zc value for oxygen or air or whatever but anyway so let's continue now we're going to actually work on an example for the relic quang equation of state so here's the first question estimate the pressure of ammonia in kilopascals at 50 degrees celsius with a molar volume of 0.1 meters cubed per gram mole using relic quang so I'm going to go ahead and start solving by writing down the formula for Relic Quang. Relic Quang for formula is this one right here. All right. And again, here the temperature is going to be in um, absolute temperature, so either Rankin or Kelvin. All righty. The substance we're using is ammonia. Uh, estimate the pressure. We're looking for pressure in kilopascals. The temperature is given to us as 50 degrees Celsius, but we don't want it in Celsius. We want it in Kelvin. So in Kelvin, that's equal to 323.15 Kelvin. Alrighty, what other things do they give us? They give us our molar volume, so V, which is going to be 0.1 meters cubed per gram mole. What else? Alrighty, so in order to start solving, we're going to need to figure out our TC, our ZC, and also our... PC value. Again, I'm going to go ahead and look at look for them in the back of my textbook or in this instance it will be here. I'll look up ammonia on my table. Ammonia is right here. My critical temperature is 405.6. Kelvin, my critical pressure is 112.77 bar. And my ZC value is 0.242. So I'm going to go ahead and write all of that down in my example so that I can just have it here instead of going back and forth in the textbook. So TC is equal to 405, 405.6 Kelvin. My ZC is 0.242. Very good. 
And then I also have to figure out my PC value, which was in my table. So I just go ahead and copy it back on here. My PC value was 112.77 bar. Right now, I want to go ahead and find out what R value I'm going to use. I see here I have temperature in Kelvin. I want pressure in kilopascals. However, my PC is given, is given in bar. Uh, we have gram moles and we have meters cubed. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my R values. These are tabulated for me in my textbook. And I'm going to look for values where the units match. So it's not going to be the first one. It's in liters, centimeters cubed, feet cubed, centimeters cubed. How about this one, the right here? It has meters cubed. That's good. We have pascals, which is not the best because I have bars and I want to kill pascals. So I'm going to use this one. Centimeters cubed. I don't like that one. Centimeters cubed again. Liters. Oh, but I have this one right here. I think I like this one. Gives me volume in meters cubed, pressure in bar. Uh, it does give it to me in kilogram moles, but it, that's a pretty easy conversion. So I'm going to go ahead and use that R value for my question. So R value that I'm going to use is 0 0.08314. And I'm going to go ahead and write down the units to make sure I don't mess up and make sure I'm organized so I don't forget what my units are. Alrighty. Our molar volume is given in 0.1 meters cubed per gram mole. We don't want gram mole because our value that we are using is kilogram mole. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that into kilogram moles. I have 0.1 meters cubed per gram mole. Um, there is a thousand gram moles in one kilogram mole. So we have a hundred meters cubed per kilogram mole. And now we have our units, correct? So we'll continue to plug things in. In order to find A prime and B prime, we need um, critical volume. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for critical volume first. Critical volume formula was given as the following. And now it's honestly just a plug and chug problem. So we just plug in the numbers that we have. And we already uh, messed with the units. So we are confident of just plugging things in and not really caring about the units because we already cared about the units beforehand. Divided by our PC. So VC is equal to, if we, when you plug this into your calculator, you get 0 0.0724. Now let's go ahead, now that we have VC, we can calculate A prime. I'm going to go ahead and calculate A prime over here. A prime, the formula, is this one. And now we just plug things in again. So honestly, just setting it up at the beginning is probably the hardest part about this problem because you have to make sure that your units match your R value. But as long as you do that, these problems should not be that bad. Now I'm just plugging numbers in. My VC is 0 0.0724. And then my critical temperature is 405.6 Kelvin. And that's raised to 3 over 2. And when you plug that into your calculator, you're supposed to get 86.9202. Now I'm going to go ahead and calculate B prime. B prime formula is the following. Now I'll just, again, plug things in. My ZC is 0.242. My VC is 0 
After plugging that into a calculator, we get 0 0.0259. And now we have all the parts in order to solve for pressure. We have our R value, molar volume, B prime, A prime, temperature. So we should be fine. And go ahead and plug things into the original equation. So pressure is equal to our R value, 0 0.0. 8314 times our temperature 323.15 divided by our molar volume, but our new molar volume that matches our actual units. So it'll be 100 minus B, which is 0 0.0259 minus our A prime over. The square root of our temperature, so 323.15 times molar volume times molar volume plus B prime. After putting that all into your calculator, you get the pressure being 26825. And the units are given to us in our gas constant. So our units is, are in bar. However, our problem statement doesn't want it in bar. They want it in kilopascals. So I know that I just have to move the decimal point. Hold on. This point 26, 825 bar. And I know that in order to get it into pascals, I just have to move it five spots over. One, two, three. Or five, and then that would be twenty six eight two five pascals, and then to convert that into kilopascals, it'll just be twenty six point eight two five kilopascals, and that's it for this example and how to use the relic Kuang equation of state. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second example for the relic Wong, and after that, we'll start talking about the Lee Kessler. Thank you.